guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. I just made these strawberry pots out of a couple of kitty litter buckets last week, and today I'm going to show you how. To make your strawberry pots made from kitty litter buckets, you're going to need, obviously, a kitty litter bucket. You'll need some spray paint that's made for plastic. I'm going to use window screen today because I have it left over from another project, but I would recommend if you have landscapers fabric to use that. I think the screen's going to be okay. I also need a drill with a hole saw. Looks like that. Mine's um, a two and a half inch hole saw. You can probably get away with something a little bit smaller, but it needs to be big enough for your root ball from your strawberry plants to fit through. You'll need safety glasses, a marking pen, and a pair of scissors. Just a few things about the spray paint that you're going to use. Now both of these brands that I have here, they're leftovers from other projects. One of them is Krylon, and it doesn't require that you sand your plastic surface first. You just need to prepare the surface with an ammonia-based cleaner, something like Pine Sol. The other one, the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, now I bought that a couple years ago and they may have updated their formula since, but it does require that you sand any shiny surfaces first, which I consider the kitty litter buckets to be shiny. So my suggestion is if your paint requires you to sand, you use a very, very fine grit sandpaper. Otherwise, the it gouges the surface of the plastic and you get these little plastic curly cues that come off and the surface isn't very pretty. Um, just keep that in mind when you're selecting your paint colors. That There are two different formulas, I think, still, and two different ways to prepare your surfaces. And then just a quick word on the type of kitty litter bucket that you use. This one from Tidy Cats, which is what I happen to use, they have two sizes. The smaller ones are nice. The lids just come right off when you undo the zip tie around it. But on the larger ones, half of the bucket, it's hinged, and so it stays attached to the bucket. You can remove that by um, jamming a screwdriver up inside there and prying it off. It will come off eventually, but obviously you'll want to take that lid off for planting. So to get started, if you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. On this bucket, there's a series of X's. There's one right there underneath the word cats. There's two more down there. And there is another one hiding underneath the handle there in the red section. I've gone and marked out the areas that I want to drill my holes in. I've done four on the wider side and I've done three on the shorter side. So go ahead and take a minute to t use a marker and mark the center point of where you want each of your circle holes to be drilled. The trick to drilling your holes um, through this plastic with this hole saw, it's pretty heavy duty and it's really meant to go through like wood and metal even. So if it gets caught up on the plastic it tends to skip and get caught and not want to drill through the plastic. What I found to work easiest, put your drill bit on the X, start drilling, but don't put a lot of weight on it. And expect that when this drill bit, for the um, hole part, first hits the plastic, it's going to stop. Ease up a little bit, and then barely have the teeth touching the plastic, and just slowly start turning and turning and turning. And don't put a lot of pressure, um, otherwise you'll just keep getting caught up. A good idea to put the bottom of the bucket up against your leg um, for support, hold the top, and then start drilling. See, so it gets caught. Just ease up a little bit and let it start spinning. and then you have a hole in your bucket. So go ahead and do all of, finish all of your holes, and then we'll come back and do the next step. Okay, so my bucket is all drilled. My holes have all been sorta of, kinda of sanded. I didn't go too crazy, but um, I sanded down just around the inside to get a lot of those loose pieces of plastic from it. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint. I'm using the um, Krylon Fusion, so I've only treated this with an ammonia-based cleaner. My bucket is now dry and I've taken um, a piece of screen and I've cut it to size to fit on the inside of my bucket and it goes, it just meets, doesn't have to overlap or anything, there's just a meeting place here. Now I'm going to go around each hole and 
I'm going to mark a spot where I want to cut an X, and that's a place where my plant, each strawberry plant, is going to go in. So I'm using a white paint pen simply because this black screen, a Sharpie won't show up. But depending on the color of your screen, you can use Sharpie. But you're just going to make an X in the center of each circle. And then you're going to go around and do that to each hole, which I've already done. You can take your screen out <clears throat> and lay it on the table in front of you. Okay, so then you can take each of your X's and if you just sort of fold over your screen along one of the X lines, you can do a double cut to get it started and then cut each piece. So now you have this hole in your screen and that's where your strawberry plant is going to be inserted. Okay, and then go ahead and do that to all of your X's. Okay, so I've cut the holes in my screen and I put it back inside my bucket and I'm going to just start filling with soil. If you feel like you need to put a little bit of like painter's tape around the top to help you keep it in place, you can, but it's not really necessary. Once you get the soil in there, everything's going to stay in place. So I'm going to start dumping in some soil. You have a lovely organic mixture of soil and um, compost. I have some of my strawberry plants in already on the bottom row and I just want to show you a couple of pointers for making sure that your strawberry plants are in there nice and secure and your soil doesn't come spilling out. So on this side here I have one left to do. The first thing you want to make sure is those original X's that you made. If you buy the six pack plants the hole that I made is just the right size I think for this root ball. But you want to make sure that your X is going to fit your root ball without causing a lot of stress to the plant. So if you need to go back with your scissors and cut a little more so that the X's go to the edges of your circle, then I suggest doing that. And then just shake off some of that excess soil. And the point of the screen is to keep the soil in. So what you want to do is push your plant through from the outside, grabbing the root ball on the other side to tug it. And you want to pull it so the root ball goes all the way through until your leaves start to come through. And then gently tug those back forward a little bit, which will bring your screen forward. If you need to help it a little, you just wanna make sure that your screen's not tucked back to the inside. You want it to do its job. So there you can see I have the screen all the way around these leaves. So now when I add soil around it, it just helps keep that in place. The soil stays in nicely. You might have some leakage because you know you did cut you know X's in it, but it does a nice job of holding everything together the way it's supposed to. Okay, so let's finish up. And then when you're all done planting, all you need to do is find a nice sunny spot for your plant to sit. It needs at least six hours of bright sunlight um, during the day. And the nice thing about this is, so I live in the south and our strawberry planting season is very early in the year, but it's been a crazy winter and who knows, we may still get a night of frost. So I can take this and move it indoors for the night if I need to. So it's a great little upcycled way to plant some strawberries and not have to buy a pot for them. <laughs>